Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, it's been a while since I've done this, so hopefully I can do some good post-commentary. See if I can remember what I did. Hey! Albed Sykes, right? So Albed saved me the other day, and... This girl, Riku, gave me food, and... Uh... You don't understand me, do you? Nope. Uh... Uh, anyway, if you meet Riku, tell her thanks for me. Oh, and as for the first game, may the best team win. About that. <laughs> like, what the fuck was up with that guy? No idea what he said. I don't remember what their names are. <laughs> I don't think it really matters to Albed guys that play Blitzball. I was checking to see what experience or what weapons I had because I need ones with lightning strike for an upcoming boss battle. But I don't get that till later. Anyway, every game has a bigs and wedge, and this is the bigs and wedge for this game. You can recruit them to play on your blitzball team, but that's really about it. That's all they do. And if I remember correctly, even throughout the game, they always just stand up in this area. Over here, there is another Albed Primer, as well as a treasure chest. I don't remember what's in the treasure chest, so I guess it doesn't really matter. You can talk to these people, but they're all just waiting to see the goers. Of course. High potions. There you go. That's what's in the treasure chest. Yeah, they don't sell any items there. You can buy some items at the market area. And you can also explore the docks at this point, and there are some hidden treasure chests, so... I was just more concerned about getting on with the story. <laughs> Though I will show a couple of hidden ones later. It still amazes me how good this game looks now. Especially after going back and playing a bit of the original. I'm sorry. Please let me through. Hey, let's go. You're really famous. <laughs> well, you know. <sighs> I hope we don't get separated. Yuna! Huh? Hmm? What was that? In Xanarkin, we do this to cheer on Blitz players. They don't have whistling in the future. You try it too. Put your fingers in your mouth like this. Like this? Uh uh. Not like that. This. Uh, then you just blow. It's not that easy. My friend and I used to try to do this a lot. It's not working. When this game first came out. Practice. Okay. Uh, hey, use that if we get separated. Use that thing you then can't do. I'll come running, okay? <laughs> well, guess we should just stick together then. Until you can do it. It's probably a good yes, idea. Uh, this is the theater in whatever this place is, <laughs> Luca, where you can purchase spheres to watch the previous FMVs that you've already seen, or to purchase um, the music throughout the game. Uh, there's also another primer around here somewhere. I think it's in the next area. 
Anyway, that's all this is for. At this point in the game, the, the things are way too expensive to even consider purchasing. So, it's definitely not worth it. Even at this point, nowadays, it's really not worth to buy it because you can just look at all the FMVs online, but when the game first came out, like, it was a really neat feature that if you wanted to watch old FMVs, you could just go here and watch them again. And now it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'll probably buy them because I, I bought them all before, so why wouldn't I buy them all again? But I'm just not gonna do that right now. I'm gonna try desperately to keep up with them. She's like, you're so fast! Why are you so fast? Like, I can't keep up and you're too fast. It's like my ex-boyfriend, he was much taller than me when you walk in. I'd have to yell at him to slow down. I'm like, I can't keep up with you. My legs are shorter than yours. Whoa! This is a pretty big town. Luca is the second largest city in Spira. I thought every town was little, you know, like Besaid and Kilika. And they build right in the water, so Sin can take them out in one shot. Towns don't usually get bigger than that. But we still live right in the water, so Sin can take us out in one shot. Because when a lot of people start to gather. Sin? Hmm. What about Luca? It's safe here? It's not any different, but the stadium is here. The Crusaders fight to protect it with all their strength. They protect the stadium? Blitzball is really the only entertainment that we have. That's sad. Spear is a little short on fun these days. Whoa. Talk about pressure. <laughs> That's right. Her eyes get really big there like for some reason. Hmm. This is like spins and circles. Well, there are more buildings, all tall ones, and cramped together. Oh. Oh. They must be so tall. Don't you ever get dizzy? <laughs> Let's go find Sir Oren. That was a little random. I like this little kid here. I got a red balloon. I bet you want one too. Little brat. Yeah, I want your balloon. Damn it. If you go over here, you get another scene. And I'm not sure. I, I think if you go into the bar and then come out afterwards, you'll miss this scene. There's also a treasure chest up here, but... It's got some money in it, but the, you can get that later. Hmm? What you doing here? The tournament's about to start. I'm looking for someone. Well, you're looking in the wrong place. There aren't many people here. Everyone's either at the stadium or watching the game on the sphere. Jeez, guys! Yeah, blitz ball. I was just looking. You watch? We'd like to, but we're waiting for some couriers. Hmm, they're late. Want to ditch the courier and go watch the game? <laughs> Luz is like, I just thought about we're this. still on duty. What about the mission, sir? Uh... See what I mean? We might be a little late, but we will go watch you play. You better be winning when we get there. Uh, yes, sir. You better be winning when we get there. Hmm, they're late. Yeah, whatever. And then, if you go around this corner too quickly, Yuna gets caught. Yeah. Silly Yuna. In the video that I deleted of my drunken commentary, I spent a lot of it getting her trapped on things and laughing at it. <laughs> A little ridiculous. I always think there's a treasure chest in that del uh, little enclosed place to the right there. I think it's like a chair or something. There's the naked lady showing off her butt again. Except for we can't <sighs> see it. 
Oren's not here. Hmm. They lied to us. Excuse me, naked lady. Have you seen a man with a giant red outfit? Why not talk, Kimari? Not see Yenke for ten years. Say something. Kimari forget Yenke? Forget Biran? Leave Kimari, Yenke. Kimari is small, Ranzo. Kimari so small, can't see Yenke and Biran's faces. So mean. <laughs> Kimari forget Ronso friends? We taught you much at time of Hornmult. Biran taught Kimari to be strong, Ronso. I think it looks like Kimari is winning. Maybe taught too much. Take him on. I can do that. <laughs> The tournament's starting, you hear? That's the game! You can only fight when tournaments aren't Today, going on. This glorious day, players from all over Spira have assembled here to participate in this great contest of bravery, skill, and strength. I like that Micah just keeps doing the prayer thing over and over. Loading screens. All of these fine teams, equally renowned, deserve to win the cup today. Such is the nature of this contest. Let us, the spectators, play our role accordingly. Let us sing to the glory of the winners and applaud equally the valor of the defeated. Contestants, May heaven be with you. His mouth was still moving there for a while. I don't understand how this thing works. Like, it's just water going in a circle that makes the, Like, it's just floating water. Like, I, I don't get it. Seems like some advanced technology to me. We could just make a giant sphere of water. It's like when they enter it, they just swim into it. And, like the balls get thrown out of it, so I don't know. I don't get it. <laughs> it's about a fantasy, why am I questioning it? Hopefully you guys can't hear my st stupid dog barking in the background. She's not stupid, she's just very barky recently. Also, I just always assumed they had breathing apparatuses or something, but according to Yuna, at one point, it's just them holding their breath. That's a long time to hold your breath. Why is Waka going for it? Waka never goes for it. He didn't get the ball. Come on, there, guys. Yuna's gone. Stupid Yuna. It's like, hey, we got a treat for you. Okay, I'll go with you. Oh no, you kidnapped Where me. Where in Spira have you been? Huh? Yuna's been kidnapped by the Al Bed Sykes. In exchange for her safe return, they want the Aurochs to lose. What? If they're only Blitzball players, I doubt they'd do anything drastic. But we shouldn't take chances. Let's go get her. I'm going too. Well, yeah, I think that's... This will be no problem. That's what she meant. They're telling the Aurochs to throw the game, as if they needed to. I mean, how good a team can they be? Waka said the same thing. He'll take care of the game. We should go get Yuna. The Albed boat is in dock four. Let's go. Yep, so now you gotta run over to dock four. And save Yuna. 
the Albed use the Machina, which are robots. So that's why it's good to have lightning to strike on your weapons at this point, because you do a lot more damage to them. Um, I guess I'm gonna save here. Okay, so you head over to the left. If you go to the right, like it's blocked off, so you have to come over to the left. And go the long way around, of course. They always do things like that on RPGs. It's like, oh, you need to go this way, which is a short way. We're not gonna let you go that way. The stores in the stadium are closed on a tournament. See? But I'm always open for business. And this is where you get the lightning strike for Kamari. The people here are so into the game they don't even look at what they're buying. Shut up, Awaka. Gotta love Blitz, eh? I know what I bought from you. And then there's a couple treasure chests over here. That is not the same one we bought. It has water strike instead of lightning strike. I wonder what that guy says. Play like something about, we stole your girl, ha ha ha. Surprised I didn't grab him, like, where are the Elmets? <laughs> We're taking you hostage. Until we get Yuna back, you are our hostage. This is the first time we face the Machina. Whoa, what are they? Ancient Machina salvaged by the Albed. They are mostly vulnerable to lightning. No way. <laughs> Lulu can take them out on her own, so... Titus and Kamari work together to take out one. See, at this point I didn't have the ability spears, so I couldn't teach people abilities. Like, there's a couple of abilities that I missed at the beginning for some people just because I didn't have ability spears. Which is pretty funny because I guess I missed one for Waka that actually can get you more ability spheres. But I had already run out of them at that point, so there you go. Why am I looking at this shit again? Just go. <laughs> no wonder it took me so long to get through this part. I like how they move around them. You talk to those soldiers, they're like, oh my god, I'll bet! And they freak out. I always do that, I always go down all too far, I always forget where lightning is. Look, there's a floor on the ground for Doc Floor. What's up with these guys? I don't know, Titus, maybe they're trying to stop you.
Whoops. Sometimes I forget that I need to let them talk for the commentary. He must have survived with like 1 HP. That time I did alright. And they move closer, so this means it's the last one. Don't ask me how they knew they weren't gonna get ambushed. The Aurochs are keeping the score tied with some excellent defense, folks. But the referee doesn't call the foul. Wack is taking a real beating out there. There are no fouls in Blitzball. <laughs> At least not whatever I played. Huh. Still in there. He won't last. Waka's always like that. Ouch. So mean. Let's go. This is so rude to Waka. See you. I'm looking for a save. Picking a save? Yes. Let's go on to our boss. There's so many what I considered semi-bosses at the beginning of the game. This is another one where it like Let's go. has specific things you have to do that help you out. It's a pretty major jump. I'm surprised they didn't show Lulu making it in her dress. <laughs> Yeah, so in order to get this thing working and to get, like take a huge chunk off of this boss's health, you have to hit it with lightning. And you do a little bit of damage to it, but then he does this. Which is a pain in the ass, so... I don't think I have anything at this point that can- except for Remedy, which does all of them. So, we're just gonna do Lancet, since Lulu's doing all the damage anyway. Luckily it only lasts for one term, it looks like. See how it went down and over? That's what I do. I wasn't paying attention, I thought it was done. Come on! It's probably I was like, shut up. Now 
Now it's good. its little legs around. <laughs> Made like a, oh no, I lost sound. <laughs> and it's dead. So yeah, that's that boss fight. It's not really a boss fight. It's like super easy. So I don't consider these real boss fights. I come from. Hey, now Yuna has the lightning strike rod. I hope you hurt them. A little. No. They told me they had candy, so I went with them. What is it? There were these all bed that saved my life when I first came to Spira. They took me on their ship. What? They even gave me food. I'm gonna know what Titus called his world. I was kind of hoping that this was the same ship. Because he figured the world Spira. But it's not. Like, what did he call the world? I wonder if they're all gone. Xanarkin's part of what happened? Spira here. I, I don't understand. Sin came up near us. I made it out okay, but I don't know what happened to their ship. Um, was there. Anyone called Sid on that ship? I don't know. They were all speaking that Al Bed language. I see. So who's Sid? He's my uncle, but I've never actually met him. Mm hmm. I'm Wait. Still moving my hands around. So that means you're Al Bed too, Yuna? On my mother's side, yes. That's why her eyes are different Sid colors. Sid is my mother's brother. He became distant after my mother married. But she told me to seek him out if I ever needed help. You're worried he was... Don't tell Waka about Yuna's lineage. The thing about Waka, he never had much love for the Albed. Whoa! I, I gotta tell Waka. I thought I told you not to tell Waka. Not about this. The game! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. And Titus is running in place. What the fuck? Thirty seconds left. The Aurochs are launching an all-out offensive. Ball does not work like this. He, he never would have made that. <laughs> he would have run out. This is their first win, like ever. Like, and they had, to, and they had to practically throw it. I mean, come on. Seems a little fishy to me. We won. We did it. We're in the finals. You're not in the finals. Not the most. <laughs> Graceful win. If it was Chapu, he'd still be standing. Such a bitch. Hey, aren't you being just a little unfair? Excuse me. I know I could never take Chapu's place. You're the one who told Waka that, right, Lulu? And I don't think Waka would ever try to take Chapu's. You don't want to finish that sentence. Nope. All right, so um, over here, it's not over here. It's at the next place. I lied. <laughs> uh, over on the next dock is um, 
where you can get the two hidden treasure chests. See how it was blocked off there. There's a bunch of crates there if you came there beforehand. Oh, my dog's barking again. Just being a brat today. I believe these are both special spears. Like, that can make um, the empty nodes that are around if you use those. At least that's what I think they are. I don't think they're the... I, I think so. They'll turn them into um, like an HP sphere or a magic sphere. Alright, so that's it for this episode. The next episode is us playing Blitzball. Yay! <laughs> I'll see you guys then.